So uh, these these engineers here are getting scared scared off right now. By the way, you do take uh, reduced damage if you're standing in water from flamethrowers. Just one of those rarely encountered scenarios <laughs> that is is actually true. Uh, now here's uh, Mannerheim X now moving on out, probably going to cap this munitions point. And uh, going back to the kind of StarCraft analogy, your economy in this game is of course a function of how many how many zones you control uh, over how long you control them. And that is uh, why Mannerheim X has such an advantage right now, because he's had majority control of the map for the majority of the time. And as a result, he has simply had more money come in and therefore can build more units. So his economy is thriving right now. Man, look at this nice little uh, spread of landmines right here in the center just to kind of make sure that any sort of rifleman blob takes damage from that. Obviously, if mines work against blobs of pioneers, they certainly work against blobs of engineers, and Mannerheim is not going to let that one slip by. A little bit of posturing going on in here the center for the time being. And by the way, check it out. We do have a Sturm Armory up right now. And it looks like Mannerheim is going right into a Nebelwerfer followed by a Puma. So um, that's a nice kind of late game transition. The Nebelwerfer is obviously good against uh, blobs of infantry because it suppresses and does a good amount of AoE damage. Uh, and now we have just kind of that continued fighting going on over here. You can see that uh, it looks like recoup losses is activated still. Uh, but behind green cover, those guys are just going to kind of stall out there for a little while. Ouch! Looks like the engineers found at least one of the mines. There's another blown up there, and it looks like there's one last mine still in the center. Uh, we do have a nice little push coming here from Mannerheim X, and AFK Ninja still just kind of scratching his head. Ouch! <laughs> there's mines going in the opposite direction there. Uh, AFK Ninja still just trying to see if he can figure out what he can do about these guys. You can see uh, they're forced to retreat a little bit just because they're so wounded. He doesn't want them to get picked off. And uh, now, finally, he has managed to get these guys to get out of here. They only take a single casualty, though. Check that out. That's kind of weird. Um, but uh, big old mass. Three, three Browning Automatic Riflemen. Again, I'm going to swap back to AFK Ninja just because I want to keep track of his army. I'm so curious. One, two, three, four, five Riflemen. Three Engineers still for AFK Ninja. Mannerheim X now. Oh, they, these guys finding yet another mine buried amongst the rubble there. And uh, we did just have... Where did that land? There it is. We do just have a Nebel Warfare here firing across the map. Ouch! Landing on these guys a little bit. Looks like they took two casualties uh, and forced to retreat. Meanwhile, in the center of the map, we do have another little skirmish going on here. It looks like uh, AFK... Eh, kind of nobody really won there. Well, I suppose two guys left over from Mannerheim. That's looking pretty good. And now the first Puma is out in the field. This is a serious, serious mid-game advantage. Now you can see second Puma coming out. Uh, this first Puma is basically uncountered. Uh, I think AFK Ninja caught wind of the fact that there would be Pumas out there, and he pr likely has... No, he's not getting an AT gun. He's getting his own Greyhound. No, that is a humongous bump, bump, bump blunder right there. If you've seen any of the previous pile spam replays, you know that you can expect pile spammers to have uh, massive amounts of Panzerfausts available to them. Greyhounds simply do not work. I, I strongly recommend against ever getting Greyhounds versus a pile spammer. I mean, obviously, you can see their army items during the loadout screen. Uh, but as a result of that, you should note if they have the Panzerfaust ability. If they do, don't get a Greyhound. Just don't do it. It's just horrible. So we'll see, though. Perhaps, perhaps uh, AFK Ninja is uh, confident in his skills with a Greyhound, and, and he's going to, you know, keep his distance and whatnot. But we'll see what's going on here. Uh, for the time being, it looks like he's going to go ahead and, and uh, attack to the left. And we do have a Greyhound out here right now. Ouch! He takes a single Panzerfaust to the side of his armor. Going to have to back away now because he is very wounded versus a Puma armored car. In general, the Greyhound's gun does more damage to a Puma than the Puma does to the Greyhound. But with a big health differential like that, that's not going to work out too well. Uh, looks like these Riflemen are moving on up to kind of support the Greyhound. But really... Double Pumas. Oh, God, for the Fatherland activated as well, so they have extra armor now. Uh, these men have uh, suppression and uh, hit point regeneration. Everybody has to get out of here. Uh, that's nothing you really want to fight at all with riflemen. So uh, Pumas was a proper counter. Uh, a lot of times, uh, you know, I've, I've tried... Uh, to do a little bit of the defense pile spam in team games. Uh, a lot of times I will just open with pioneers and just kind of go pioneers most of the game. You don't usually win team games with only yourself making pioneers, but uh, it certainly lasts for a while. Uh, and then transition into something like Stugs, which go really well in team games. But uh, this is a situational decision, I believe, by Mannerheim. He just knew that there were riflemen everywhere. Pumas are a great counter to riflemen, uh, even when riflemen do finally get sticky bombs. So uh, taking a look around, uh, sticky bombs are being upgraded right now for AFK Ninja. And uh, just kind of moving around here. But he is definitely trapped in his base right now. Uh, this is the Wall of Doom. Uh, getting stuck behind this bridge is very difficult to get out behind. 
Uh, so uh, down here on the right, you will see that it looks like Mannerheim X is threatening a three cap right now. He does have uh, Pioneers capping both of these points at the same time. Uh, the Greyhound is now just kind of cruising along up here. Uh, no upgrades, by the way. No 50 cal machine gunner. Uh, he just does not have the munitions at this point. Uh, he is too far behind on the economy war. So uh, we'll take a look and see. We do have a nice little spread here. Uh, and it looks like he's kind of coming around maybe to threaten to flank or maybe to just kind of... Uh, dive deeper into Mannerheim X's territory here. Uh, looks like this Puma armored car is coming up. It'll probably catch wind of some of that. Right now, you can see that these riflemen are capping that point. Uh, Puma armored car focusing the riflemen, kind of ignoring the Greyhound for the time being. I'm uh, just going to kind of back out and get out of there. We will see. It looks like he is rallying all of his troops. Mannerheim X is going to respond to the threat in time. Um, oh, that Nebelwerfer, by the way, has repositioned to in front of the church and is now just kind of firing away. Uh, looks like all that stuff is just kind of landing kind of all around this general area. Not really doing any damage, but uh, that's okay. So, a uh, bunch of, <laughs> man, those Pumas, just three focus firing Pumas uh, and being auto repaired by this big, just mashup of uh, pioneers here. That's kind of crazy. So, uh, lots of landmines being dropped right now. By the way, these are camouflaged engineers. So, camouflaged engineers laying landmines on the road, kind of hoping to catch the Pumas off guard. Landmines are really good against these light armored vehicles in general. By the way, these are VET-1 Pumas at the moment, so he has just kind of changed his veterancy over to that. Uh, you can see that this Greyhound is just kind of getting dangerously close to a big old, <laughs> big old ball of pioneers here. Just kind of keeping his distance, so that's that's not too bad. Oh my god! Oh my god! Look at the Panzerfaust! Look at that range on the Panzerfaust! Oh my lord! That is so humongous! That is so crazy! Oh. So, uh, anyhow, that is why you don't usually go Greyhounds against uh, <laughs> against Pile Spammers. Uh, the, the Pile Spam Faust ability is just crazy, crazy good. Uh, it just totally, totally takes care. I mean, you could practically kill an M10 tank destroyer with that stuff. I don't know if that's true or not, but it certainly feels like it. So, it uh, looks like the Riflemen are just kind of holding their own. Uh, the Puma Armored Cars advance past this first anti-tank gun that AFK Ninja had. They will likely just completely destroy it. You can see the rear Puma Armored Car took a bit of damage. Uh, everybody else here is just kind of driving through. Uh, flamethrowers doing a lot of damage. These engineers are not doing too bad, though. Honestly, double double upgraded uh, flamethrower engineers. Not upgraded, but they're buffed from having popped out of camouflage. Not doing too bad, but uh, the Pumas are just kind of making a mess out of everybody here. Uh, recoup losses was activated during all of that. Ooh, a damaged engine goes off there. I'm a little surprised to see that happen, I guess, uh, from a little bit of flame damage, maybe, or just some some random damage there. So, uh, AFK Ninja right now really has got to repair all of his units. He's got to he's got to reinforce them all, and he just does not have the economy to keep up with this. Um, you can see it looks like barracks going down right there. Uh, Anti-Tanka now just kind of shooting across. Oh, gets a nice little parting shot there. Uh, Nebelwerfer just kind of landing here in the middle of the base. Uh, looks like Puma Armor Car driving away. These are, of course, Mannerheim's mines. And uh, stuff is kind of looking okay for Mannerheim here. He's got a really, really dominating control right now. Uh, AFK Ninja looks like he's not even really reinforcing his troops. <laughs> he certainly doesn't have the money to do too much. Uh, he's just kind of moving out. But uh, AFK Ninja kind of pointing out the fact that he's had a 15 streak on his uh, <laughs> on his armor commander. That's kind of nice. Uh, looks like this damaged Puma armored car is heading back. And uh, for the time being, Mannerheim X, notice by the way, even though he has dominating, dominating control, he's not hes not trying to win big. He's not like driving into his base. hes He pulled back. He's got a nice little bunker set up now. He took his advantage, and he's going to turn it into an even bigger advantage. He's just going to take this time to cap all these points, repair his troops, and just make sure that he has a guaranteed win. Uh, you know, even even a player who is as far ahead as he is has not lost sight of the fact that it's important to just guarantee. It's better to guarantee a win than it is to just gamble, uh, even when you're a little bit ahead. So... Just kind of hanging out here. I'm sure that once he gets big and tough, he'll start sending Pumas back into the base there because they can certainly handle it. I'm going to take a peek here at what Mannerheim is building. It looks like another Nabel Werfer. I will pronounce it at least <laughs> right at least once this, this replay. Um, repair is going off here. These are now Vet 2 Pumas. And uh, it looks like we've got double AT guns out here for AFK Ninja. Perhaps a little too, too little too late because uh, now he just kind of has to choose between either countering the Pumas or countering the Pile Spam. Um, but probably doing both at the same time is going to be very difficult. But uh, as you can see, Mannerheim X is just kind of spreading his units out and making sure he's got good central control. Wow, check it out. We do have a Flak 88 being built in the front lines here, just in time for these two anti-tank guns to start taking potshots at it. Will he reel around and take some shots? He fires 
once. Nope, there he goes, fires a shot, and it looks like he maybe did some damage. No, the anti-tank guns take out the Flak 88. Uh, AFK Ninja celebrating a little bit about that over there. You can see that uh, both of these anti-tank guns had the range to just kind of pick away at that. Now they're kind of shooting at these contracted pioneers <laughs> just to go ahead and take that out. So uh, maybe that was a little a little aggressive. Maybe a little bit further back would have been nice, but uh, that Flak 88 was definitely threatening to shoot at everything in his base. So good thing he got rid of that. And the reactive artillery just kind of seals the deal on that conversation. Of course, since he's got territory going all the way up into AFK Ninja's base, he can drop reactive artillery pretty much wherever he wants. Uh, you can see that just takes out everything. Uh, both anti-tank guns wrecked. Uh, this one even blown to bits. And uh, these engineers going to have to get the hell out of there right now. Uh, but not before being run over by millions of Pumas. The Pumas are now charging in. Ouch! More damage done to the Puma by the reactive artillery than anything else, it seems. Uh, it looks like these <laughs> Browning Automatic Riflemen are still just hanging out in this building right now. Just kind of exchanging some random, random, uh, <laughs> random gunfire here with some pioneers. Uh, but meanwhile... Uh, pretty much just kind of hanging out in the back of his base. This pretty much looks like game over <laughs> for uh, AFK Ninja here. We'll have to see how this resolves just to let it play out because, man, this is a this is a mean-looking replay. Now, note, remember, oh, God. <laughs> AFK Ninja asking him for his best advice on beating this. Uh, Mannerheim X recommends snipers and praying to bail, of course, because uh, apparently Jesus doesn't listen anymore. So uh, I will leave that up to the players, but uh, there's the recommendation right there from the man himself. Uh, meanwhile, it looks like very forward naval verifiers and everything else being blown up here. Uh, these riflemen totally being stuck. Looks like we do have some rangers on the field. The rangers decide to come on out and see if they can maybe pick off these armored cars. They are equipped with bazookas, of course. Uh, one of the last uh, possible outs that AFK Ninja has at this point in the game. Uh, where are they going right now? You can see them taking some random pot shots here at uh, these pioneers. Uh, nice little counter going on up here. It looks like the riflemen are charging in. One sticky bomb goes off on the Puma armored car. Uh, Flamethrower is just kind of toasting away there. Uh, looks like, wow, that, that triple focus fire here from the from the Vet 2 uh, Puma armored cars is doing a ton of damage. Second sticky bomb goes off. Almost every, oh, the entire squad dies. Third sticky bomb goes off. Really to no avail. Uh, three damaged engines, but uh, a lot of lost squads and whatnot. Uh, we do have the Rangers coming out here, maybe kind of hoping to pick off uh, these wounded armored wounded armored cars but no oh reactive artillery goes down on the heads of the rangers and the rangers oh just raining bits all across my camera gonna have to get some windshield wipers for this camera and uh that is the end of the game right there so there's the game that nobody wanted you to see just a really 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 brutal high level example of pile spamming and uh so congratulations to Mannerheim x i still believe uh thoroughly that he is a really good player and is just using a really good strategy combined so i don't want to diminish that at all and uh, also afk ninja one of my favorite armored commanders so once again i did start a new twitter feed if you are into that sort of thing check it out i will put links in this description and on my channel otherwise i am harlequin coho hope you guys enjoyed this feel free to subscribe talk to you later